Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mike Freeman with Hustle Homes TV. I have a great video for you today. Four tips on how not to get outbid in this very competitive market. Let's get into the video. All right guys, four tips for how not to get outbid in a competitive market if you're looking to purchase a home. Before I get into the tips, let me just say that the reason for this is you want to make your offer as attractive as possible. It's not just about the money. There are some little details of different things that you can do to make your offer more attractive so that you could get your bid accepted so that you could get the home that you want and that you envision yourself living in. All right. So tip number one, write a letter. This is an old school way to try to connect with the seller to articulate how much you love the home, the neighborhood, how you can see yourself living in it, etc. And this is not something that works all the time, but there are scenarios where it does make sense, where the seller has a lot of sentimental value with the property, meaning they've maybe lived there for a long time. Maybe they built that home or had that home built for them and their families. Maybe they raised their children there. Maybe they've done a lot of upgrades. So they have a strong connection with the property. So they want to pass it on to somebody that's gonna love it just as much as they did. This is a great way to connect with the seller and to hopefully make your offer stand out. Uh, tip number two, pick a mortgage lender with a good or great reputation. So do some research, check the Better Business Bureau, read the reviews of other people that have worked with the lender that you're considering and see how smooth they were with executing the closings and how timely they were with processing paperwork. All of this can affect the timeline from the time that the, an offer is accepted, the sale of a property is executed and closed. And sellers, if they do some research and find that a lender that you're particularly working with doesn't have a good reputation, it can put your offer in the back of the pile. That's not what you want. All right, so tip number three, and this is probably the most painful, but tip number three is to decrease your target home price. All right, so why would you do this? Well, in the second quarter uh, here in Connecticut, in the second quarter it was reported for the sale of properties, they were 3% over the asking price on average, okay? So that basically means that if a property was listed for 300,000, the closing price or the sale price was 309 310 or even more it could have been four percent or five percent over asking price so in order to stay competitive it's important that you have some wiggle room where you could potentially offer a little more for a property that you really want and of course as as long as it appraises if especially if you're working with the lender all right so if your budget is two hundred fifty thousand to 300,000 and you're looking at homes that are listed for 299 for 295 you're going to put yourself in a really tough spot when it comes to putting in an offer because the most you could do is 300,000 and there may be other offers that can offer more which leads me to tip number 4 and this is connected to that painful tip of number 3 is slightly lower your expectations so if you do lower your target price, it does make sense that you may lose a feature or two uh, in a home of what you're looking for in your list of wants. So for example, that may mean instead of a two car garage, maybe you're looking at homes with a one car garage, or instead of a, a home with two and a half baths, you're looking at homes with two full baths, or you're, you're losing out on acreage or even a little bit of square footage. And I know that's painful, that's tough in the times that we're in with inflation and uh, interest rates going up. It's really difficult thinking about the idea of getting less for what your money was worth two, three, four years ago. But here's the thing. If you don't want to get outbid and you want to make sure that the, uh, the house that you find that works for you and your family, that you can make work for you, you want to give yourself some wiggle room, which means that you may lose out on a couple of features, lower your expectations. So those are my four tips. I hope that helps you get the home that you're looking for. Of course, 
subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna be doing so many more videos with tips like this to help you in this very crazy and competitive real estate market that we're in right now. Thank you for watching this video and take care.